The Ghana CEO Summit, the 8th edition, aims to impact business leadership and West African economic development by focusing on economic diversification and artificial intelligence transformative potential, emphasizing resilience, innovation, and collaborative efforts for sustainable growth. Former President John Mahama addressed his key policies geared towards economic growth. But we cannot despair over the poor quality of governance that has served us in the last seven and a half years. I wish to use this opportunity to appeal to you, captains of industry and the investor community, to tarry a bit more. Please don't leave our country. It is said that the darkest hour is before the dawn. The beauty of our democracy is that it affords us the opportunity to change our current trajectory. You can rest assured that a new NDC administration will work with you to create a conducive environment for businesses to thrive. Together, we'll expand your businesses to create more opportunities for an increasingly youthful population. We will revive the, the famous Gateway Program to reposition Ghana as a gateway for African investment. Ghanaian registered businesses will be given priority in government procurements. We want Ghanaian business people to dominate the economy. The NDC flag bearer pledged to lead Ghana in eliminating cash payments in all government transactions by 2028, paving the way for a digital and cashless economy. Fintechs working in the agricultural and agribusiness space will be used as conduits for providing targeted microcredits for farmers and will also revive Dr. Ndung's concept of micro GN banks to boost the rural economy. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia heads back at former President John Mahama and the previous NDC administration. We've done more sanitation f facilities, uh, increased the proportion of the population with access to sanitation facilities from 33% to 59%. And this is why you are not seeing cases of cholera as it used to be in the past, uh, because uh, there are 5,400 communities that are now open defecation free he noted that the current tax regime in ghana is a significant factor contributing to the economic mess the country is currently facing but i don't want to tinker with the existing tax system i want a new tax system and i believe that ghana would benefit from a flat tax system makes it very easy makes it very transparent uh, and easy to comply you know, easy to understand. Today, a lot of businesses don't even understand the bills that the GRA brings them. There's a lot of dispute amongst them. If we move to a flat tax system, it'll be very, very, very easy for everybody to understand.